It's a lady in London here, and today I want to take you around London's Marylebone. This area is known for its incredible high street, its great museums, and its really fun atmosphere. I hope you enjoy exploring with me. If there's one place to start your visit to Marylebone, it's Marylebone High Street. This is the heart of the area and it has great shops, restaurants, and other things to entertain. It's the perfect place to get a feel for the neighborhood. My absolute favorite place in Marylebone is Daunt Books. This bookshop is a book lover's heaven, and as you can see, it's absolutely beautiful inside. There's a nice travel theme to it too, so it's fun if you like to travel. The Wallace Collection is one of the best small museums in London. It has a great collection of furniture, paintings, and suits of armor, and it's a great place to come to get into Marylebone's cultural scene. There's a great cafe too. I love exploring London's side streets, and Marylebone has some great ones. From little muse streets to tucked away alleys, from brick houses and other buildings that are just beautiful to see, it's worth getting off the high street and checking them out. Back in the thick of things, St. Christopher's Place is a great area to explore in Marylebone. It has a lot of shops and restaurants around a central courtyard and little pedestrianized stretches where there's lots of galleries and other boutiques to check out. Chiltern Street is another great place to go in Marylebone. It's home to one of the most famous restaurants in London, and it also has a lot of great shops, delis, and boutiques to see. New Quebec Street is slightly farther away from the High Street, but it's worth venturing over here for its local feel and its great restaurants and pubs. Just off Marlebone High Street, Marlebone Lane is packed with lots of independent shops, restaurants, and cafes. It's the perfect place to get away from the bustle, but still be in the heart of things. Marylebone also has some great parks, and they're perfect for relaxing after sightseeing. I hope you've enjoyed the tour. As always, there's more on my blog, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you go.